I think you think about this a lot. Like if Jesus did come back, mm-hmm. I do think a lot of like the really, really, really religious people in our country would um reject him as like <laughs> a woke for sure liberal fucking communist and <laughs> and the exact same thing would happen again to him <laughs> bros and hoes you're listening to your favorite thing podcast with wells and brandy well um i can't believe it but like christmas is like right around the corner christmas is nigh <laughs> christmas is nigh christmas who is are nigh. you who are you Hark, the herald angel sings, the Christmas is nigh. <laughs> the star of Bethlehem shines down upon us. But I can't believe Christmas is already nigh. Um, what did you ask for this year? Nothing. I want nothing. Same. Um, I mean, I want some things, but I didn't ask for some things. What do you want? A lot of shit. Okay, and then tell me what it is. What do you want? <laughs> But like, uh, okay, so I'm at the point where like, as as any adult, I'm sure I'm at the point where like, if I want it, I just buy it for myself, like immediately, you know, Same. Yeah. so it's like all the thing or or like, I've got like a wish list of things that like, I can't afford yet. But like, when I can, I'm gonna buy. So like, I'm right now, you want to hear what I'm on right now? Tell me what you're on. I'm on a watch kick. Ooh, okay. I've never owned a watch. I've never been a watch girly, but mm-hmm. all of a sudden I've decided that I'm an adult and I need a nice watch. Yeah. So um, what do you want? So I want a Cartier. Okay. Um, I think I like the tank. It's a little heavy. So like I could be convinced to to go with the oh, I forget the other style that I tried on that I liked. It's a little bit less heavy, but it doesn't look as as expensive. And I want to look expensive, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Of course I want the gold because the silver's cheap and I don't want that. Mm, okay. Um, I don't need the diamonds. It would I, I would take the diamonds, but I just yeah. want like a gold Cartier tank, I think. Yeah. Okay. You should get so it. So when I can afford to buy myself that watch, can I, I, I ask I'm how much that is? That. I think it's twenty two thousand. Okay. It's I mean, somewhere in that range. 22. Money, but... Yeah. It's like somewhere in the 20,000 range. Yeah. Like 22 to 26, something like that. Sarah got me a Rolex for <laughs> my wedding gift. Mm-hmm. And I've never been a watch guy. I don't care about, I just don't like, I'm not, I'm not even like a jewelry guy. I recently mm-hmm. started wearing a bracelet and I don't even know how I feel about that. That's just Work. Like really getting out there. Mm-hmm. Um. But then all of a sudden, I had this like really nice watch, and so I started like looking up other watch brands. And all of a sudden, like TikToks are figuring out that I was looking up watches. And then like all of a sudden, I was on like Watch Talk, I mm-hmm, think. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot. The only thing that's scary about having such a fine timepiece on your wrist is like you are a target to oh, get for sure fucking nailed. So there's a part of me that wants to get my exact watch that I have and to get a fake one. And wear that one everywhere. But that, and, then what's the point of having the real one? Well, I'll wear that to like the opera or yeah. like weddings and stuff. But you know, like if I'm going, like the other well, day we went you to insure a concert. It. It's insured, right? For sure. But okay. I don't, that, that's also like just asking for attention. Well, so is a fake one. Yeah, but I say, okay, say, I can say, okay, take it. It's fake, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't care. Take it. Get the fuck away from me. Well, even if it was real and you could say take it and those interns will replace. That's true, but I would probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so are you going to get a watch? When I can afford it. But is 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 Tish not dropping down? A... Absolutely not. No, no Tish is like, here's an Amazon blanket. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what else are you asking? Um, I mean, I, I would always take another horse, you know. Jesus Christ, lady. Let's what? let's go with things that are less than a thousand dollars. But if they're less than a thousand dollars, I just buy it for myself. I know, but so it's like I don't need it because I already have it if it's less if it's less than a thousand dollars. Fair enough. Do you want to know what I want? What I asked for? What? I asked this is this is big. Big okay. time. New wells. New year, new wells. Oh. Um, I've never owned Birkenstocks before. And you're going to wear Birkenstocks. Well, I want some house shoes. And I, I do. Those, I actually could see you in them. I am in the, the closed toed Birkenstocks. <gasps> the clog. Yeah. The clog. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know if I feel how about the sandal. Not, okay. not, not the, there yet, but the clog the, still looks mm, like a shoe kind of, especially wearing yeah. pants. The sandal screams stoner to me. Yeah. 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 And I'm you not know? anymore. I'm not I one know. of those people. 
um, I asked for that. And that was basically, that's basically all I want. Huh. Yeah. I don't want It's cheap. They're like a hundred bucks. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've already, I've already got my own Uggs. So, you know, uh, no, you didn't say, you said Birkenstocks. I have those too. They're comfy. House shoe. I'm actually wearing Tish's house shoes. Yeah. House shoes are important. Yeah, they are. We, we're we're trying to become a take your shoes off when you come inside mm. the house house. Oh, I try to do that too, and nobody freaking abides by the rule. What what you got to do? You got to put a bench right by the ha- right by the door, and then I do shoes have out. that. Yeah. I have so many shoes sitting there, and people just walk on in. Yeah. Or my 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 least favorite is when people say, like they look and they see all the shoes by the door, and then they look at me and they say, "Do you want me to take my shoes off?" Yeah, and like, yes, yeah, I do. But it's the vibe of like if I say yeah, then I'm an asshole. Yeah. And I'm like, and I, so I always like the people please during me is like, I mean, it's totally up to you. <laughs> but I, I'd love it if you did. Yeah. Like I'm obviously barefoot and all my shoes are by the door. So like, can you not? Speaking of Christmas and Jesus. Yeah. We got my mom and I got to like, well, not just me and my mom. I guess we had some other people involved. We're like talking about. Oh no, Dom. It was Dom last night on the ride from LAX to Toluca. Oh, um fun. We got into like a religion discussion a little bit. Mm, God, I wish and, I was there. <laughs> and we started talking about Catholicism. And I was like, ooh, you know who grew up Catholic? Wells. I was yep. like, we should ask Wells some of these some of these questions. What were some of the questions? I'll answer them for you. Um, okay, so Dom was saying that Catholics have they have heaven, but they also have purgatory. Yep, that's true. And then there was something else called like limbo or something for a minute or something like that, where it's not purgatory, it's not hell, it's not heaven yet. And you go there. Um, but then like at some point, the Catholics decided that was just too crazy to believe. So they just got rid of it. Is that true? I don't know if I don't know if that's true, but there is purgatory where you where you go, you wait in judgment of your life, I suppose. And then they decide if you I mean, who they are, but they decide if you're going to the good place mm-hmm. or to the bad place. Yeah, it seems um, crazy. It seems like we're giving people too much power in this this religion. Yeah, it seems a little. You know, it seems it seems like there's a lot of bureaucracy. It seems like a lot of just like hanging out, like at the DMV. You're just like, mm. what, what's going on, guys? I waited my entire life to get to this point, and now I'm waiting for you guys to do some sort of judgment. You know, love all it. life is really just waiting for something. That's it. You're just it's life and just, death, I guess. It's just another DMV line it's you're going through customs of life what were the other what were some other questions about catholicism that i can answer for you from the that 12 was years the of biggie. catholic school that i went to there was also talk of like how the catholic religion just has like a lot of pedophiles well yes that is that is true unfortunately and stuff and i think a lot of religions do but catholics specifically catholics really seem to like take the cake on that one and then i was saying that it seems to me but like i don't know shit but like seems to me like the catholic religion specifically is a lot of like violence in the name of the lord and i just don't like the violence yeah there are a lot of um crusades if you will Mm -hmm. um a lot of beating people into submission and things i just don't know about that yeah, but I feel like, you know, I, you know, like the Salem witch trials, I don't think those were Catholics. I think those were, those were Protestants or those were no idea. Pilgrims. I don't know. Um, yeah. No um, I did a hear kind of an interesting fact about why priests went from like really, really great to not that great. Mm-hmm. Um, and it all had to do with the plague. So back then in like medieval times or whatnot, the entire Europe basically was the Roman Empire and everything was run by the church. Um, and the smartest people were the people who were priests. Like they were the only people who really could read, right? Got it. Um, but when the plague happened, you had to have these priests go out and, and serve last rites. And of course, they were, you know, in contact with a bunch of people who were uh, sick. So then they ended up getting sick. So then all of a sudden there was this giant need for priests. Priests. But no, they were no longer like the smartest people in Europe. They were just Mm. like whoever we could get. Mm. And then it was a steady decline of 
you know, kind of poor decisions on who should become priest. And yet the, the mm-hmm. whole, True. the whole like uh, diddling thing is just not great. Not, it's not a good look. It's, it's not. not a good look. No, not at all. Mm-mm. No, but anyway, you know, not to get on another religion talk, but I just, yeah, you love religion talk. <sighs> love it. Yeah. I also, I just like, there is a part of me somewhere deep down that mm-hmm. like really likes upsetting people. <laughs> really? <laughs> like causing chaos. Wow. <laughs> like, I know. Just a small, just a tiny, tiny little piece of me down there. That's like, I kind of like pissing people off and upsetting people and like getting them all riled up. I can see that with you, actually. Ah! That does not surprise me. One <laughs> iota, actually. <laughs> Sometimes I think about like, I I think about like the the current state of just like the world in general and like uh the, like the crazy Christians that we have in our country and then like everything that's happening in like the Middle East and everything and I just I just think like if Jesus was real which I very well may, may have could have been and 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 if he is you know or if God is real whatever I imagine they're looking down and being like Jesus Christ, they fucked this up, didn't they? Like, we're not even close. Not even close to the messaging that we were we were going for. No, nowhere near. Like, like honestly. So off base. Honestly, like, I do think, I do think about this a lot. Like, if Jesus did come back, mm-hmm. I do think a lot of, like, the really, really, really religious people in our country would um, reject him as, like, <laughs> a woke. For sure. Liberal fucking communist and <laughs> and the exact same thing would happen again to him <laughs> true oh man i have a bone to pick with not you no not you <sighs> no, you're sorry. fine yeah i was like what i do now no he did nothing um okay. like news and like sports news okay um, anytime there's like an anchor of sorts, here's my bone to pick. Hey, news or sports center, COVID's over. Mm. Let's stop doing Zoom interviews with people. All right. Let's mm. pay a little extra money. All right. Let's fly them into the studio. Let's mic them up properly. Let's light them up properly. All right. I don't want to be hearing about like what's happening in Sudan or in the Gaza Strip. And then the guy fucking glitches out for 25 seconds. And then they say, well, we got to come back to him. I don't have that kind of fucking energy. Do better. Throw some money into your actual production. This is your whole business. Okay. Yeah. If I wanted to fucking watch a Zoom conversation, I would fucking watch YFT on YouTube, which please go subscribe because we need more subscribers. There's a lot of feelings in that rant. But you know I'm so right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like I mean, time- I don't watch the news, so I'm just assuming you're right, to be completely honest. But You yeah. don't ever watch the news? Never. It scares me. It's depressing. It's dark. I don't like it. Oh, my God. What I need to know about, my mother tells me. I hear from my mother. Whatever I need to know, I'll be told. I bet I you she's got some weird conspiracy <laughs> theories out for there. For sure. For sure. Oh, but Dom, too. Dom watches the news. The two of them, they, they'll tell me what's up. They'll yeah. tell me what I need to know. I don't need to fill my spirit with that with that darkness. Good every for day you. On a daily Good basis. I don't like that. Freaking. Uh, well, you know what? Like CNN, MSNBC. Fox, no, I, I go, I flip flop through all of them That's just to insane. like, That's nuts. just to know mm. and like what's going on. Um, no, I don't want to know. And I'm, uh, it's, it's, I'm always greeted with some fucking asshole in his study, mm. bad lighting, uh, low shot up the fucking jowls, uh-huh. ear pods in for oh. your fucking audio. Couldn't be more annoyed with this. All right. Mm. Let's just do better. Everybody, okay. ESPN, um, you guys do it too. I fucking hate it. If I have to mm. see fucking, you know, Chef Schefter, whatever his name is, in his pajamas, let's get him into the studio. He, I know he lives like a mile down the block. <laughs> get him here. Do better. Okay. Well, speaking of news, mm. I saw again, freaking terrifying. Um, some girl in downtown LA got murdered and they found her in her refrigerator this week. This is why I don't watch the news. That's terrifying. 
There was a Punky Brewster episode about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's scary. I mean, it's kind of funny because um, I remember they were playing hide and go seek and Punky Brewster's friend, whose name I mean, she was the black girl, uh, was her Tui or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, like went hid in one of those old freeze latch freezers mm, she and almost, got trapped. She almost died. So maybe that's oh. what happened to this lady. I don't think they said she was violent, had a violent altercation before death. Really? Yeah, it's scary. Was she frozen solid? I don't know, but she was very pretty. They said she was a model and like, what the heck? Are you looking it up? I want to know what Punky Brewster's friend's name was. <laughs> uh, Sherry. What did I say? Uh, I don't know. Oh, man. Punky Brewster. What a great show that was, by the way. <laughs> Did you ever watch that show? I don't think I think that was just like a smidge before my time. Yeah, it was it was it was back then. Just a smidge. Yeah. Soleil Moon Fry. But they brought it back at 84 to 88. So I was mm. very young when this was very when this was going. your girl was born in 87. So yeah, 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 yeah. Must be nice. Um so tell me more about this murder. I don't know anything else. That's it? That's all you got? She lives in downtown LA. She's a model. She's very pretty. Um, she was found in the fridge, violently attacked, said the autopsy. I, re- I read. I heard about all this on TikTok. It's the only place I ever see news. Okay. Um, super, super sad and terrifying, though, you know? Okay. Uh, murder. LA. Model. Model. Refrigerator. Okay, so many of those. Refrigerator. Re, re, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see what we got. Body of a murdered LA model was found inside her refrigerator. This is only KTLA. Give it to me, KTLA. I know you will. Oh, oh, they had to put her, she had a, the mortician said they had to put her back together again. Ooh. Oh. Well, Merry it's Christmas. beginning to look a lot <laughs> like Christmas. Murders on every block. Yikes. You know, <laughs> this is terrible, but this is what happens when um, I really can't stay. <laughs> if you don't, I'm going to murder you. And oh, my you God. Up. Baby, it's cold outside. Is that too much? It's colder in the refrigerator. (laughs) Baby, it's cold in the fridge. Jesus Christ. This might be the darkest episode we've ever done. I was going to say, we've got to turn it around. Wow, you did this. I know. (laughs) Well, it's just rare that I know about any current events whatsoever. So I had to share. I just love that. Um, you know, I think that like the problem is that everyone is so cheerful and so happy this time of year. And That's we a need problem. To, we need to check everybody, bring them down a peg. Yeah. Let them live. Nope. They got to come <laughs> down to us. Baby, it's cold in the fridge. <laughs> Don't we always say that YFT is supposed to be the light of positivity in the world? And that's what it started out to be. But, <laughs> you know, now we're old. Right. Old and jaded. Should we start the show? Mm. Mm. Yes. And then we have to make a pact to turn it around. Okay. Well, we will turn it around. I promise. <laughs> okay. I promise. Why don't you, you start it. You start okay, this okay. happiness. Mm-hmm. Rewind. Okay. okay. Bros and hoes. You're listening to a very happy episode of your favorite thing podcast with. Wells and Brandy. It's so Baby, it's lovely. Cold. <laughs> It's warm outside, not cold. It's yeah. the sun shining. Yeah, we're both in Los Angeles. It's 70 degrees outside right now. It's actually not. It's freezing. What are you talking about? Oh, it's cold in this house. So get this. You li- I, you live literally 15 minutes away no, from me. No, I know. But let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. We show okay. up last night and I come to my guest house and try to turn the heat on because it's freaking cold last night. Um, And the thermostat says that it's 61 degrees in here. And I was like, you know, I like it cold, but like 61 is a little crick, right? Like I don't need to be getting sick. Yeah. Um, so I try to turn the heat on. Won't come on. Doesn't mm. turn on. Heat, heat doesn't work. 
And I was like, mom, I think your heat's broken. No, it's not. You're just not doing it right. And I brought her over here and I was like, turned to see. And so there's no heat. So mm. I had to, I, it's like I'm camping. I had to mm. sleep in 60 degrees last night and the low was 52. I bet it got down to 52 in here. Yeah, but you like it cold. Not that cold. Yeah. 66 is my happy number. Um, also, I just feel like I've just been on the go, 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 go. And I feel like my immune system is not up to, up, up to its usual standards. And so yeah. I can't be getting sick, you know. I know. That's why we're not together right now because Sarah's sick right now. I know. I know. And I don't want to give it to anybody else. I know. So I've been sleeping in the cold. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But okay, we're being a downer again. We got to pump it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. It's 70. So, it's sunny. The sun's shining. What is, tell me some of your favorite things. What that? Um, my family came to visit last week. Mm -hmm. I think we talked about a, a smidge. Um, I survived. Go okay, me. Um, we, you know, we had a lovely time. And it's funny, like, Christmas hasn't happened yet, you know? But mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like Christmas did happen because I feel like that was my Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we had the cutest little Christmas party on Friday night. And it was such a good time. And we did Dirty Santa. Yeah. Okay. So when you see on an invite, when you see like Dirty Santa gift exchange, you know, yeah. $25 or whatever it is. In your mind, what does that mean? Is it it's Dirty Santa? Or dirty Santa it, is what's on the invite. It, or is it Secret Santa? Or the invite is says it Dirty White Santa. Elephant. The invite says Dirty Santa. Okay. Then it needs to be like funny gifts. Like dirty gifts or just funny? Yeah, I mean, that you could get like someone like a porn or like fuzzy mm. handcuffs or something like that. That could be dirty. But then I think you can also get like a bottle of Everclear or something, you know, like some like, gross liquor. I think that okay. that also works. OK. And and then I also think, yeah, I think that's yeah. that's what you would think. OK, Maybe so then lingerie. Oh, I don't know. about Edible that. underwear. OK. OK. So. Now, so you when before you mentioned Dirty Santa, Secret Santa, and White Elephant. Are those three things different in your mind, or are they all the same? Secret Santa is um, everyone has a different person. One designated person. You're right yes. about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, White Elephant is you bring a gift, mm -hmm. and then we, you figure out like what the order is. People go and pick out a gift, and then they pick out a gift, they open it, and then it can only be stolen three times, I think, mm -hmm. or, okay. or taken t two more times. Yes. And I think Dirty Santa is White Elephant, but Dirty. I don't know. Got it. it maybe Dirty Elephant is what is Secret Santa, but just Dirty. Yeah, okay. So we put Dirty Santa on the invite. Because to me, Dirty Santa is... It's White Elephant. To me, it's the same thing as White Elephant. But, like, I don't feel like people have the the connotation that with white elephant you steal to me like dirty santa is like stealing from each other and like fist fighting over what you want and like okay. whatever like it wasn't necessarily like dirty dirty santa mm -hmm. um and so that's kind of like you know you put like 25 dollars on there as the limit so like obviously it's silly gifts like you're not gonna go get by anything like serious so we did dirty santa it was a huge hit um <laughs> but there was one person, one person took it as like dirty, dirty Santa. Yeah. And and the gift was a cup that was a man's ball. I love like it. Like a coffee cup. Just, just one ball? Just one giant ball covered I in hair. It. it was I hilarious. It. Um, and she was so embarrassed, I think, because she was the only one that kind of went that route. But it actually was like the hot commodity gift, you know? Yeah. So it's like, should have, that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think maybe like that's the play. Like, I feel like lingerie is like a step too far, maybe. I don't know. Well, um, and stuff. then a couple other people did kind of go that route, I guess, because there were a couple of gifts that were like a joint and some male enhancement. You know what I mean? Or like some yes. gummies and some female enhancement. Whatever it was, that was funny, I thought. Um, but yeah, I was just curious, like what your take was on that. Because Miley and I went back and forth on like what to put on the invite. Like, do we put White Elephant? Do we put Dirty Santa? And I was like, well, people know that we're stealing, you know? So I was like, put Dirty Santa on there or whatever. Um, but anyway, we had a great time. I feel like I already had my Christmas. Um, and then I am in LA right now, but I'm working. And then I go back home to do Christmas on my, on my own because that's what I want to do. Mm, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my it's entire not, life. It's not. It's absolutely lovely. All right. It's lovely. Uh Sarah and I started watching Christmas movies. Oh. So I've got two new ones that I loved. I've got a bad one. Okay. I'll go first. Then you, you can go the first bad because one. we're being positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
The first one is on Prime vis-a-vis Freebie. I don't know if you know that there's like serious yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Like, yeah. I'm up on the Freebie. You understand Freebie? Okay. So the way you get into Freebie is from Prime. And then once you get into Prime, then Freebie is a free app. Um, so there's commercials, but whatever. Um, the movie is called X Miss. Hmm. Original. But it's spelled E X oh. and then Miss. Okay. Okay. Graham surprises his family at Christmas, only to discover his ex fiance is already celebrating the holiday with his family when he arrives. Xmas, stream free on Freevee. Um, it's my buddy Robbie Amell. Oh. That's the only reason why I even found out about it was because I was playing golf with him the other day. And I love his show Upload. And he was mm-hmm. like, oh, I have a new, um, like a holiday movie. And I was like, oh, are you the are you the guy who never left and still owns a coffee shop? And he's like, no, 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 it's not like that. It's, uh, I mean, it is a holiday like rom-com, but it's not like that. And I was like, oh, so tell me what it's about. And he's like, well, so I get engaged to um, this girl who's played by, you'd love this, Leighton Meester. Love her. I know. So they get engaged. Um, something goes wrong at some point. They become unengaged, but she's still like really, really close with his family. He's uh, calls his family and he's like, I can't make it home. I got a deadline. I can't come. And then like last second, he's like, this is depressing. I'm going to go home. So he like flies home, kind of surprises the family. And once he gets home, who's there? But his ex fiance. And then all sorts of things happen. Uh, Effectively, what he tries to do is, well, they start playing a game to see if, um, he starts playing a game to see if he can make his family hate her, right? So they they like play uh, like a board game night and she gets really competitive and like the mom's like, this is a little crazy, you know, like whatever. So they kind of go back and forth. And then obviously, you know, things change and it turns into a beautiful love story. Love that. um, The family's really, really good in it. Uh, There's um, the dad is Michael Hitchcock, who is in like a lot of Christopher Guest movies, like A Wedding for Guffman and um, uh, Best in Show and Uh all those movies. Mighty Wind. Um, And then his sister is this girl named Veronica Slowikowskia. And the only reason why I recognize her is because she's someone who's like big on TikTok and she does like this kind of funny skit bit on TikTok. And so I always see her. She's so good in it, so funny in it. Anyways, highly recommend Xmas on Freebie. Okay. Yeah. So it's a movie. It's a movie, yes. But there's commercials in it. Yes. Huh, interesting. Okay. Um, All right, what's the movie that you do not like? Okay, so we watched two Christmas movies. Okay. Um, One I'd already seen. Apparently, she's going to kill me. Miley, guess what Miley's favorite Christmas movie is that she's seen like 30 times? The Holiday. Absolutely not. uh, Is it going to be one that I hate? It's, it's so unexpected. Oh, okay, then tell me. It's the Lindsay Lohan movie that Cord is in. Oh, yeah, I think that was good. I talked about it last year. I liked it. <laughs> the fact that that's the movie she's seen 30 times absolutely kills me. She yeah. loves it, so she made us watch it. It's good. And it is. It's so cute. And, you know, Obby, I love Cord, so we love that. So we did watch that. And then we watched, um, I think it's Netflix. There's a new Christmas movie that Brandy is in. You know the singer Brandy? Yes. I don't know what it's called. You're going to have to look it up. It wells. It's not bad. good. It's really bad. And like, here's the thing. The Lindsay Cord movie is also bad, but it's good because they know it's bad. Yes. And they like lean into that, you know? And so it's funny. This is not the case. They're done serious. Best Christmas ever. It was not good. Oh, yeah. With Heather Graham and... um Jason Biggs. Horrible. And J- like Jason Biggs. Yeah. I would like, you know, I know he's older now, but like he was good in his day. Yeah. American Pie. Freaking hilarious. Saving Silverman. Yeah. What? Ha- like, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I don't it's know. not good. Yeah. It's not good. 
Friendships are put to the ultimate test over a boastful holiday newsletter. Best Christmas ever. It's not the best Christmas ever. No, it's the worst <laughs> it's Christmas not, ever. It's not the best. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. So maybe skip that one, guys. Yeah. Um, okay. I have another one that I we really liked. Okay. Okay. It's called Family Switch. I think it, who's in this? Jennifer Garner. Is it new? Yes. Oh, then I haven't seen it. Um, Jennifer Garner, Ed Ed Helms from like The Office, mm-hmm. and Emma Myers, who is in Wednesday. Okay. When a chance encounter with an astrological reader causes the walkers to wake up to a full body switch, can they unite to land a promotion, college interview? Record deal and soccer tryout. Family switch. So it's 13 going on 30. Classic. But with the whole family. Love it. And it is so good. Okay. Netflix? Netflix. All right. So many people are in this movie too. Like they spent some money on this thing. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, so good. Go watch it with your okay. family. Your, your family will like it. It's so I, cute. I love Jennifer Gardner. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, this this little um, Emma Myers from Wednesday mm-hmm. is so good. Like, she's going to be, I think she's going to be a big star. Okay. Love that. I got a, fee- I got a feeling. Cute. Cute. Yeah. Cute. Um, well, uh, I am all caught up on The Crown. Okay. And they just this past week dropped part two of the final season. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love this part. I love part two because it's all about Prince William. Yeah. And whoever they cast is such a little cutie. We love that. We love that. And um, it's it's like it's like it's like reminds me of the young Diana episodes, mm-hmm. you know, like it's more of like that caliber of television um where it's not so serious all the time um but i'm loving it uh so if you have not started watching the new episode of the crown highly recommend that i'm gonna be sad the show's over but thank god i have the first three seasons to go back to and prequel it you know oh thank god thank god because i do love it Oof. Oof. yeah mm-hmm. okay i got one more one more show i like a lot okay great um it's called school spirits <laughs> <laughs> i'm scared I was hoping this would be a show I would like, but now I'm not. I think you. I actually think you might. Uh-huh. Just from hearing hearing what it's called, School Spirits. What do you think it's about? I feel like it's a comedy. Okay. <laughs> Which is not my thing. So. <laughs> okay. A- anything else? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, do you think it's like a like a like a um, cheerleading documentary or something? <laughs> I don't know. It could be. Yeah. Could be training. Could be about alcohol. Okay. Don't know. It's on Paramount Plus. Okay. And it's from the creators of Pretty Little Liars. Okay. Maddie, a teen stuck in the afterlife, investigating her own disappearance, goes on a crime-solving mission as she adjusts to high school purgatory. (laughs) School spirits. Purgatory. Interesting. We've gone full circle. <laughs> We've made it back, baby. <laughs> Insert uh, Catholic conversation. Yeah. Let's talk about priests. <laughs> um, so Maddie is played by this girl named um Megan Tr- Trinud. Trinrud. Uh she was like a, I think a Disney Channel girl. Okay. Um, she's in high school and she gets murdered. Or at least we think she's murdered. Um, okay. Her blood is found like in the boiler room for some reason, but it, no one can find her body. Mm-hmm. And she is in the afterlife. Um, and so she's stuck in like she's stuck at the school where she was murdered, where there has been a bunch of other murders from like different decades. Right. No. So like there's a lot some, of murders at the school. That's what we were. Sarah and I were talking about this. We're like, I don't think I don't think there was a, ever a murder at my school. Definitely Let alone like one every mind. decade. Mm-mm. Like one kid, you know, died in the seventies on the football field. He got like hit badly and like broke ah, his neck. I see. Um, and then like there was so another, deaths. Yeah, 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 just deaths. Got it. 
but she's been murdered. And there's a couple other murders, but then there's just like, yeah, some deaths. I mean, kids are mean. Yeah, right? You know? Totally. Um, so anyways, like there's kind of like this like self-help, uh, almost like Alcoholics Anonymous meeting that she goes to with all the other dead spirits. Mm-hmm. And she's just trying to figure out like what happened to uh, how she died. Because everyone else that's dead, they're like remembers exactly what happens, except she doesn't. Um, and then one of her friends who is alive for some reason can see her and hear her. And so then it's just a whodunit, basically. Okay. I like a whodunit. Um, it's very fun. It's like four kids for sure. Um, but it is, it's not bad. I, okay. I don't hate it. All right. I like school spirits. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it's, it's reminding me. It's giving Riverdale a little. Yeah, it's it's got some Riverdale vibes. Did you ever finish Riverdale? No, I didn't even start Riverdale. I watched season one, maybe season two, and then I think it kept going and going and going, and I just did not keep watching. Yeah. It didn't grasp me. By the way, though, I did watch May, December. What are your thoughts? Miley hated it. Um, I... One, it's like Natalie Portman plays a lot of like overly sexualized characters, which is interesting it's to me. Kind of her thing. Yeah. Um, my thought was, okay, did Natalie Portman's character the entire time just want to do this movie so she could f- fuck a kid or like be sex be sexual with a kid on set? Oh, I never went there. That was my my thought was like, oh my, like I knew immediately that she was going to sleep with the the now the now uh-huh. grown up kid that got into a relationship with the teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Um, and then, you know, like then you start hearing her talk to the director. And so she know that she's like been sleeping with the director and you know that she was kind of getting her rocks off with like hooking up with the kid. And then. Once that last scene, it's her filming with this with the kid, and she's like, "Hold on, we got to go again." And it's like, was this all one big ploy to do some pedo stuff? <laughs> this episode brought to you by oh pedo stuff. I cannot. I know, but that's what I was thinking the entire time. Is that what you were, what you were thinking? I it was not what I was thinking at all. Um, but now that you bring it up, it's a fair perception. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why have tears? What do you guys think? Go watch yeah. May December. It, I I enjoyed it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that the kid from I think he was from Riverdale. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I thought he was great in that. Yeah, very good. And apparently, he like gained forty pounds for it. Like really impressive Jeez. work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had the ten oddest Guinness Guinness World Records of the year here. The 10 oddest? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. Um, here we go. Number 10, fastest five meters on a scooter by a parrot is 14.6 seconds. That's a long time. Okay. Longest mustache on a living person, male. The record is 63 centimeters, which is more than two feet. That's disgusting. Can you imagine? Having some guy go down on you with a 63 centimeter mustache. That's too much. Fastest time to assemble Mr. Potato Head blindfolded is 11.5 seconds. Like, I, I feel like these aren't impressive no, things to me. Not that impressive. You know, when I was a kid and we'd go to the library and you'd go get when the When I Guinness, was a kid. Back when I was a child, we'd go into what's called a library, which is basically a giant internet server but you'd have to go use the dewey decimal system to find shit and there was the guinness book of world records and we would always go find that one to go look at the fattest man alive and the tallest person ever lived and now it's like number seven couples most couples eating a single piece of spaghetti simultaneously that's not a thing that's just not a thing it's not a thing Number six, most magic tricks underwater in three minutes. The record is 38. It's not a That's thing. dumb. For fish? They don't care. All right. <laughs> most spoons balanced on a body. The record's 88. Most spoons what? Balanced on a body? I can do it on my nose, and that's it. Because I fucking grew up. 
guy. Longest tongue on a living dog. The record is 13.9 centimeters, which is almost five and a half inches. Well, how do they know? Because they're not measuring every dog's tongue that comes to the veterinary clinic. Exactly. That's the dumbest thing ever. It's just, you're just looking for, people just want to get the, the The thing that they want to get. Yeah. And I I wonder if there's a Guinness Book of World Records for the most Guinness Book of World Records is my question. Probably. You know, like who has that? I bet somebody. Fucking dork. (laughs) <laughs> and we're back to the negativity <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like christmas oh. um, um do you want to go out on some calls oh yeah we should do some calls for sure okay definitely i don't know if you're really here let me see if i can do this oh do this probably way. not let me do this so i can do it this way Hold on. you know what else i saw on tiktok today what's that I never know what's real and what's not real. Um, yeah. But apparently, did maybe you could fact check this for me. No, I want to did, just go ahead and just assume it's true. <laughs> did Fiji Water have hmm. a have a campaign, like an ad campaign, saying something like, this is, their water is not bottled in Cleveland or some dig at the city of Cleveland? Because I've heard that that was, that I'd heard, I saw on TikTok that that's what they did. And so the city of Cleveland apparently tested their tap water against Fiji. And apparently there's like all this fecal matter in the Fiji water and Cleveland's water is crystal clear. Really? Apparently. And apparently Cleveland's tap water passed like all the taste tests as being better, you know, in all the like blindfolded tests, I'm sure. And everyone said Fiji's water was garbage. Good for Cleveland. <laughs> but I have no idea if any of this is true. I just saw it on TikTok. Yeah, still. But I was I was fascinated. Um, as I sit here and drink like some bougie bottled water that Tish has, I'm like, is there fecal matter in this? Does anybody even like are there any uh what's the word? Um Who's keeping these people accountable? You know, like, is this water even like worth the three fifty? I'm sure she paid for it. I don't know. I mean, if you really think about it, though, like every drop of water that's on this earth has, has been fecal matter, has been pissed and shit out of <laughs> countless other beings before us. You know, Ew. like this water I'm drinking right here is definitely like Ugh. dinosaur pee pee. No, at one time for sure. What? There's only a limited amount of this stuff. So we're not going to fact check. We're just going <laughs> to. I love it. Cleveland. Cleveland rocks. All right. Let's do some. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some on, calls. On to the calls. On to the calls. Well, then, Brandi. Hello. I can hear hello. My favorite thing for you. Okay. What do you got? Stranger Things. I know you all have a love for it. Um, I am actually obsessed with it. One of my favorite shows. And I'm calling you today on November 6th which if you're a nerd like me, mm-hmm. you know, it's Stranger Things Day because Will Byers vanished in the woods 40 years ago today, oh. uh, which is totally real, real life. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't think you've covered it. There's a show that kind of gives me Stranger Things elements. It's on Amazon Prime. It's okay. called Harlan Coben Shelter. Whoa. Um, there's, there's similarities. There's a missing kid. There's intrigue. There's what the fuck is happening here. And it definitely kind of fills the void before season five comes out for Stranger Things. It's a YA show, which I know Brandy's a fan of. And I really think you all would actually be kind of into it. So watch it and talk about it. And I love that. And yeah, so love you guys. Leah from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm a pro attorney and I'm just thankful that as I'm doing my boring estate documents, I can listen to you all and get that mindless entertainment. And just thank you for that. Great day. Love you. Bye. Well, she is just full of positivity and happiness, and I just love that for us because we need some of that. Nikki lives with a mother in rehab, a dead father, an annoying an annoying aunt, and a new school in New Jersey when a creepy old woman tells him that his father isn't dead. Nikki thinks he's losing his mind. Harlan Coben's Shelter on Amazon Prime. I mean, maybe. Okay, so the show, the Harlan Coben show that was bomb. Yeah. Oh wait, is that the right one? Yeah, you might have you might have liked that one. Wait, maybe this is not what I've seen actually. Hold on. Did you watch The Stranger on Netflix? I think so. I think- 
I don't think I did watch this actually. Or maybe I did. I don't know. There's one Harlan Coben show. Is it safe? There's a lot of his shows. But I, ugh, a lot of them aren't good. But I'm going to give this one a go. Oh, yeah. The the Stranger with Joel Everything was not good. Yeah. See, I, so- tried to, I tried to watch that one. Yeah, it was tough. All right. Let's, mm-hmm. let's, let's continue on. So my favorite thing is the husbands that are loving this podcast because of their wives. Yeah. My husband is one of them. Yes. And what the fuck is happening here? Do, what do, the do, fuck do, do, is do, happening here? Bye. That's it. Oh, she just she just loves what the fuck is happening here. Okay, cool. What can I, dude? I love that. Love that for you. All right, we got another one. Hi, Wells and Brandy. This hey. is Emily. I've been listening to you guys for a while now. Thank you. Um, I just was calling to reference um, Wells' comment on the Anchorman video. I will say, Wells, I have to tell you that you're wrong. Oh. Uh, it never was. I'm impressed. I have watched that movie so many times, and that oh. was something that my family and I would quote all the time. No. Oh, cut out. The whore from Whore Island or whatever. But it's all that line has always been you pooped in the refrigerator, you ate the whole wheel of cheese. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. He always said that's amazing. It's never been I'm impressed. No. I just wanted to tell you that you're wrong, but I love you guys no. and I listen to you guys every week and I love listening to the podcast. So you guys are great. Nope. Also, I I Bye-bye. I love her. I was gonna say I love when other people also tell you that you're wrong. It's just like really. Why do you love that? I just you know. I just love it. That's not something that you should love. Because <laughs> I love being right. Not that I had an opinion about this whole thing, but you know, yeah. I love her. She's great. So, you, so if you, if me being wrong makes you right in some way, absolutely. Wow. All right. Uh, two more. Hey, welcome, Brandy. My name is Mandy. I'm from Michigan, and I was just calling with a couple things that I think you guys should check out. Um, The first thing is Invasion on Apple TV. It's kind of about like an alien invasion, and it kind of gives the perspective of a few different areas of the world, and then they're all kind of connecting. I think you both would really love that show. Um, And then a couple book reps. Um, what lies in the woods by Ooh. Kate Alice Marshall, and then before I go to sleep Ooh. by S J Watson. You guys should check them out. Love the show. All right, bye. Love that. Love a book wreck. Me too. I need we to have more. We have talked uh, invasion, and I got to be honest with you, I almost couldn't finish it. Like it just dragged really? on. It just was. Mm. It just took forever. Um, but I like those book wrecks. Thank you for that. Last one. Hi, welcome, Brandy. Yo. This is Madison hey, Matt. from Memphis. Maddie from so Memphis. one of my oh, favorite see. things that you guys have ever done okay. was the Christmas episode with Wells and Sarah, which also makes me very sad because while I love Sarah and I love Wells, I also love Brandy. Uh-huh. So I think that should become a thing because then it would become one of my favorite things is a your favorite thing Christmas episode. Special. Where you guys just talk about all things Christmas. My also favorite thing would be a show called Fat Man. If we're talking Christmas, well, this is right up your alley. It's literally about a punk ass kid who hires a hitman to kill Santa. And it is just all of the best things in the world. So that is my favorite thing. So, Batman, and then, yeah, a Christmas episode would be awesome. Thanks. Love you guys. Wow. Fat Man is with Mel Gibson. What? A rowdy, unorthodox Santa Claus is fighting to save his declining business. Meanwhile, Billy, a neglected and precious and precocious 12-year-old, 12-year-old, hires a hitman to kill Santa after receiving a lump of coal in his stocking. Fat man, tis the season to get even. Hmm. Um, looks like that's on 
streaming on Peacock, rent and buy on Prime and on Amazon. All right. Um, I do love the calls. Uh, we, we have we've Thank stopped do, we have stopped doing it. We need to we're, we're bringing it back. We've decided we're bringing it back. Uh, if you guys want to call in, tell us your favorite thing, please do. The number is eight five eight six three zero eighteen fifty six. Once again, eight five eight six three zero eighteen fifty six. Nice. Is that it? Did we do a Christmas episode last year? I guess we might have, and Sarah hung in on it. I guess so. I don't really. You know me, though. I don't remember shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really remember that either. Huh, okay. Um, Well, we can't do that this year because this is the last episode of the year. Yeah. By the way, yeah, so that's, we should tell everyone that. Um, Yeah. What, what, uh, what song should we go, go out on? A Christmas song. Maybe it's cold outside, even though it's kind of creepy. It's too creepy. Okay. Um, what was I love Run Run Rudolph myself. Run. Run Run Rudolph. I can do Santa's it. gonna make it a down. Chuck Berry? I have no idea. All right. All right, Why of Tears, we're taking the next two weeks off because of the holiday. Okay. So, sorry about that. You know what I might do, though? I might look at some of the, our, the drunk podcasts that I have done in Ooh, my house. Ooh, that's a good idea. And uh, maybe release some of those. That's just, it's a little bit more editing mm. on my end. But well, what else are you doing? Fair enough. Fair. <laughs> that is a Playing fair... some Christmas golf, I'm sure, but you know. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. That really. could be a nice gift for the wife tears. Okay. okay. Well, I said hard edit because it's going to be, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, anyways, Y of Tears, we love you so much. We do. We do. I'm, I'm very thankful for the Y of Tears as very always. Very thankful. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to mm-hmm. all of you Y of Tears out there. Have an amazing new year. Even the Catholics. We love you. Even though I'm a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Are you still? <laughs> Are you still? <laughs> no. I mean, I am a Catholic. No, you're not. Yeah. Oh my God. We love all creeds, races, religions. I'm sleep deprived. All right. We love you guys so much. Have an amazing new year. We'll see you in 2024. See you then. Bye. Bye. This podcast has been brought to you by Podcast Nation.